Okay. I'm going to uh, throw the spout first. I'm just going to throw it off the hump. It's not going to be a very long spout, but it's going to be short, short and stout. Push out at the bottom. Push in at the top. Off, so I'm more than what we need. Okay, that's our. Let's zoom in and out a little bit. You see the rent or the uh, spout? I'm going to hit this with a torch just lightly just so I can lift it. away if you use a torch certainly just cut this off and push it off to the side let it dry by itself you certainly don't need anything this big if you like to use a it's just this regular small propane torch but it's just a wonderful it's just a faster you can just take the sheen off of it once the sheen's off of it it's more or less leather hard on the outside. We'll take a pin tool. Make sure you have dry hands. Make sure you have a little bat ready. I'm going to kind of undercut this. And pop it right off just like that. Set that all to the side. And now we'll do the stopper. I just make a clay stopper. You can certainly try to fit it to a rubber stopper. Uh, you buy a regular wine stopper or you can get some fancier ones if you like. Um, or even a cork. Uh, if it has a thicker side, you want to size the hole to the thicker side to the thinner side by the time it shrinks. Should. Uh, Should just fit just fine. I'm just going to kind of flare this out. 
kind of mimic, mimic the bottom. Now, I took a measurement, and the widest part of my trimming tool here is the same width as the neck. So, I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. scientific. Come on more. Now the more you come in, the higher it's going to be. So we're going to have to cut a little off the top here. I'm getting too far up. A lot bigger than I want it to be. So again, we'll take our pin tool. Calipers. You can leave this a little heavy because you can trim it. It's right where I want to be. Back with the torch. You do want to make that bottom of that stopper on the thick side because it will take a lot of bang. We'll take and cut it off. Okay, that's what we have. Hollow in the center. Now when this dries a little bit, let's we'll turn it upside down and trim it nice and round. Alright, so the only thing left we have to do is the handle. Um, and then once this dries, we'll be back and uh, put it together. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.